Hi and welcome to Painting in the Woods. This is the first of Painting Outside. These collection of videos will be me painting outside doing quick sketches in oil paint of places that I see. Um, I'll still keep doing painting in the shed so if you haven't seen that, that's um, oil painting and acrylic and stuff and that's always indoors. I guess the hardest part is finding somewhere to paint. I spent a lot of time this morning just walking around looking for somewhere right to paint and I found this tree. That's quite a good angle. And this is the this is the tree I'm going to paint. So that's going to be probably off off center, and I'm going to include all those hills there and those hills back there as well. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so these are the colors I use. Please pause that if you need to have a longer look at it. Um, when I'm doing a sketch outside, I'm, I'm working a lot faster and I've got quite a big canvas here, so I'm just trying to cover it as quickly as possible using a big brush. Uh, here I'm using. Um, the burnt sienna, the sap green and uh, a little bit of white and um, I also got a bit of burnt umber in there as well so I have all the colours on the palette to start with and I just look, you just have to keep looking at what you're copying from and pull out all the different colours that you can see and sort of emphasise them a bit more than what you can see you know so if you see a little bit of uh, you know, um, autumn sort of leaf colour you sort of exaggerate that with a bit more sort of um, burnt sienna and stuff you know just sort of bring out the colours a bit more I'm um, using a small brush here just to plot out where the main tree is. Um, I've already sketched on the canvas with a pencil roughly where I want the main tree to be. It's all about composition, you know, you never put anything directly in the centre of the painting. So um, I'm using uh, burnt umber and a little bit of the, um, the blue there just to sort of plot out where the tree is. Um, here's burnt sienna and, and this is it, just covering the canvas really with a brush. Um, all the different colours and textures you can see and use a palette knife just to soften some of the brush strokes if, you, if you've got too much paint in one area. Here there was some snow already fallen on the ground so I was trying to put the snow in but I think I got rid of it in the end because it just didn't look quite right. Here I'm just using a mid-size uh, bristle brush just to plot in some trees in the background and I wasn't too keen on doing this too much, I just wanted to sort of put in where the main ones were so if there's a group of three or four trees you just put in the main trees that you can see. Um, it's all about selecting what you want to paint from when you're painting outside. Uh, this is uh, the olive, um, the sap green and the burnt umber, um, putting in the tree trunk, picking out all the different colours that you see on the tree and putting them all in. With the branches, you know, um, there's light and shade on the branches where they twist and hit the shadows and stuff, so there's a bit of shadow there and then I'm putting in the light area and then blending the two together like that. With thin branches, I've probably already mentioned this before, but hold the brush really loosely and just roll it around and twist it. Let the brush almost go its own direction. You sort of pull it in, the, in roughly in the right direction and let the branch uh, go the way you want it to go. Right, so I think I need to finish now because um, it's snowing, which is great. I love the snow. It's really atmospheric. Um, but I think actually the snow's coming in quite heavy and it should be coming in for the next few days. So. I need to get home. I, I've, I've done a sketch. I'm, I'm quite happy with the shape of it. I need to add more to it, I think, and change it a little bit. Some of the branches are a bit... I don't know. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. And um, I've enjoyed being out here, so that's the important thing. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll, uh, I'll put a picture of this up at the end once I've altered it slightly and added a few more things. I want to be here when the snow settles on this tree and see what it looks like. It's going to look amazing, isn't it, with all the snow on it? I might have to come out back here tomorrow when it's been snowed and... Been snowed? That's not a word. But it's been snowed on. Hi, so um, these are the colours I used back in the shed when I took the painting back there to alter it. And you can see here I used photographs that I'd taken of my friend Rachel. And I started making the painting darker and darker until it eventually became night time. And I put... A different light source on the left hand side there I put the moon so it's quite a cold light it's almost spiritual really going through the trees and then on the right hand side you got the doorway which again is kind of spiritual as well it's not very natural you wouldn't normally see a doorway like that in the woods but um, I quite like that idea and every step of this painting I really um, thought about for a long time and really considered all the different things I was putting in all the different elements uh, to make up a story to make up an image that that would say something um, I wanted to talk about someone um, changing their life or going through some sort of change and that's why I really wanted to show a journey in it as well. Um, so the last thing I did was the key and for me that was really difficult because it changed many times. In the photograph she's holding a pen just for the sake of the photograph but I wanted something and it seemed a bit obvious when I saw the doorway on the right that I would put a key in her hand and that worked really well. Um, so I've got two different light sources there on her 
Now, obviously, the, the brightest light is coming from the key and from the from the moon because they're sort of closer to her. Um, and you know, it's really worthwhile if you if you have a few people that are willing to you know put different outfits on and take lots of different photographs so that you have lots of reference material to go back to. Because I already had this photograph, and the painting and sketch seemed to fit, so I took the the oil painting sketch and and sort of put the photograph on and had a look at it, and I thought this will work really well. I'm a little bit, you know, kind of poker hunters sort of came to mind when I saw the finished result a little bit, but um, yeah, because of the leaves and stuff. But I don't know. My friend Jim might have something to say about that because he lives near Poker Hunters' his grave in, in Gravesend, uh, which is where she actually died. So there's a bit of history there. So uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, so I hope you like it. Please give me some feedback if you have your own thoughts about the painting. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. If it speaks to you, if it means anything to you, please let me know. I'd be very encouraged. Um, any sort of con constructive criticism would be great, you know, just uh, yeah, email me here on YouTube or on my Facebook page, that would be great. So, there you go. As you can see, I did a lot of it back in the studio and I completely changed the picture. But, um, I don't know, I just, it kind of grew and started developing and I ended up doing a lot more in the shed than I thought I would. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to ask my friend Jim Pooley, who did the music for these videos, what he thinks of this painting. So, Jim, what are your thoughts on this picture? Hello, it's Jim taking another look at one of Ollie's paintings. Um, as Ollie's now painting outside again, I thought I'd uh, pop outside as well. Um, he said his latest picture reminds him a bit of Pocahontas uh, because of the uh, flowers following the person in the picture. So I thought, well, where better to come than to uh, Pocahontas' burial site in uh, Gravesend, uh, just down the road. Uh, so yeah, to do the review here. Um, as for the picture itself, uh, I mean, it's alright. Um, I'm quite interested in the key that she's holding. It sort of looks like it's made of plutonium or uh, something like that, because uh, it's glowing. Quite dangerous. Uh, so yeah, but that's the sort of interesting thing for me. So Anyway, I hope that helped, and uh, yeah, I'll, uh, hopefully we'll have something else to review uh, pretty soon. If you like this painting, please contact me. It is for sale. It's quite a big, you know, 36 by 24 inch canvas. Um, a price, um, I'd say about £300 if you want to buy it from me. Um, I might make prints of it depending on how much feedback, back, feedback I get from it. Uh, so please leave your comments and subscribe to these videos if you want to be updated on more. I'm going to do some more now, probably hear it in the shed. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to keep making these videos and thanks for watching them. And, and for those people that have subscribed, it's great. Bye-bye. <laughs>